Welcome to the Titanium Strip Mission Raceway Park, brought to you by Titanium Auto Group, Van City Audi, and Roads Untraveled. If you're one of the many people around the Lower Mainland that have heard about the drag strip we have here in Mission BC, but you've never had the courage to come out here and race simply because you weren't too sure on how things worked. Friday Night Street Legals have been around for a long time, and by the end of this video, we're hoping we provide you everything you need to know to safely come out and know step by step of what to do and what not to do, and have an amazing time out here at the Titanium Strip Mission Raceway Park. Let's get to drag racing. Hi there, welcome to Mission Raceway. Are you racing or spectating? I'm racing tonight. Okay, okay, do you have a card number? I do not, this is the first time I've raced. Okay, I will get that ready for you. So here is your card number. Thank you. And then here's your tech card and you are good to go. Thank you very much. Of course, have a good one. Thanks. Once you've entered the gates, you'll be driving right in front of the drag strip and as you pass by, you'll have an excellent view down the track. Then you'll be driving through the staging lanes as you head to the back side of the property to have your vehicle inspected prior to racing. The track officials will give your ride a full once over to make sure it is safe enough to be racing down the drag strip. The Titanium Strip Mission Raceway Park is an NHRA certified drag strip, so they must follow all of the rules and regulations set out by the NHRA. While you're on the property and driving through the pits, make sure you follow the speed limit, which is 10 miles per hour or 20 kilometers an hour. As you approach the tech inspection, pull your car up behind the other cars waiting in line for their tech inspections. Then feel free to get out of your car and start filling out your tech card. So the first thing you're gonna have to do once you get to the tech inspection is fill out your tech card. Class, it's a very important thing for the street legals. There are four classes that we can race in. Outlaw class being the first one. You need drag slicks or drag radials to participate in that class. Do not attempt to race in that class. You will get kicked out if you have street tires. The next one is motorcycles. Obviously, motorcycles can race in that class. Third one being the sport compact class, which is what we're gonna be racing in today. Those fall outside of an American-made car. So anything other than American-made cars can participate in the sport compact class with street tires. And lastly, the domestics. Anything made in America running street tires runs in the domestic class. So now that we know what class we're running in, we have to fill in what car number we have. This was given to you at the front gate. You fill that out at the top of the card. All of this information up top needs to be filled out. It is very important to have done. Below, not so much if your car is not modified. This is a stock Mercedes E53. So I won't be filling in here. I will just be telling the inspector it's stock. Make sure you don't miss anything though if your car is modified. And on the very bottom, you just need to sign off saying that you've reviewed this all. It is accurate. Once you've done that, you head over to the tech tent. One last thing to remember before you go to the tech tent, make sure your helmet is ready for inspection. They need to make sure it's approved for drag racing. You're gonna be able to find that by looking inside the helmet underneath the protection. Make sure that you include your helmet specifications if you require a helmet to go down the drag strip. This includes the Snell or SFI spec as well as the manufacturer. With your tech card completed and your helmet and vehicle ready to be inspected, head on over to the tech tent to sign the liability waiver and get yourself a wristband. Anyone that would like to go down the track as a driver or as a passenger must sign the liability waiver and be wearing a wristband. Once you've done that, you'll head back over to your ride and wait for the next available track official. It is your responsibility to point out all of the modifications you have made to your vehicle. If you have modified your vehicle, the track official will not only perform a visual inspection, they will read your tech card to make sure that everything you have filled in is correct. If everything passes the inspection, they'll sign off on your tech card and all you'll have to do is write your car number on your vehicle. The first spot you'll need to write that on is in the upper portion of the passenger side of your windshield. Not only will you be writing your car number, you will also be writing an abbreviated version of the class you'll be running in. The second spot you need to write on your vehicle is the driver's side rear window. Make sure it is legible and in large writing. If you don't happen to have a paint pen with you, you can borrow one from a fellow racer, or you can always purchase one at your local Lord Co. or at the pro shop at the track. So now the tech inspection is done. Time to put on your wristband. Now time to head to the pits and get ready to race. So now that we're through tech, it is time to find a spot to park for the night. Throughout the pits, there are many different places you can park, but we do advise you to stay off of the return roads, do not park in anyone's way, and make sure you're parked off to the side enough so you don't encroach on anyone else's pits. 
We're gonna go all the way down by the track so we have a great view of the cars that are flying by us all night long. So now that we've arrived in the pits, we definitely want to get everything out of the vehicle. When you're drag racing, you don't want to have any loose objects. So we're going to empty the trunk and get to drag racing. You will be required to use a helmet if you are running 13.99 seconds or quicker in the quarter mile. If your car is capable of doing 135 miles an hour or faster, you will be required to wear a fire jacket. If you anticipate your car is going to go even faster than that, err on the side of caution, get yourself some fire pants, a neck collar, and some gloves as well. If you have any questions whatsoever on the rules and regulations about what safety equipment you need while you're going down the strip, check out missionraceway.com. Don't forget guys that during the hot sunny weather you have out at Mission Raceway, you cannot race in shorts. Make sure you bring a pair of pants with you. Once you've got your safety gear on and you hear your class being called over the loudspeaker, that is your cue to head on over and line up in the appropriate lanes. Make sure you are listening well because they will announce which lanes they would like you to line up in. If you and your friend have come to the drag strip to race one another, make sure you line up beside each other and let the track official know you'd like to race. As much as they can't promise that you will race each other each and every time you ask, they will certainly do their best to make it happen. When you've made your way to the front of the line, wait for the track official to point at you and direct you to your lane. You'll either be sent to the tower lane, which is on the left-hand side of the track, or the spectator lane, which is on the right-hand side of the track. You'll then drive through the water box. If you do not wish to do a burnout, you would drive all four of your tires through the water and come to a stop on the other side. If you would like to do a front wheel drive burnout, you would come to a stop with your front tires just past the water box. And lastly, if you'd like to do a rear wheel drive burnout, you would come to a stop once your rear tires have just passed through the water. Only once the track official has given you the signal are you allowed to commence your burnout, do a pre-stage launch, or approach the starting line. Make sure your eyes are peeled for the signal to light them up. After your burnout or pre-stage launch is completed, you may approach the line only once the track official at the starting line gestures for you to do so. All right, now we are through the burnout box. We have been called up to pre-stage. So we're pulling up to the bulbs. And the first set of lights are going to illuminate once we pre-stage. There they are. Now we're going to let our uh, opponent pull up as well. Once they've pulled up, we then fully stage by lighting up all the bulbs. Then we're ready to rock. As soon as you see that green, you let her rip. If at any time you experience a mechanical failure as you are racing, make sure you pull over to the side of the track to make sure you don't get any liquids or broken car parts down the middle of the lanes. Now because we have a passenger in the car, we're not allowed to go quicker than a 1399. So we're gonna slow down, we're gonna put on the brakes, and we're gonna ease through the rest of the quarter mile. Now there's three exits when you're on the racetrack. They are in increments, so the faster the car is, you're probably gonna wanna take a lane or an exit further down the track. We're just about to come up to the first exit right now. There it is, there's your exit number one. For the cars that are going significantly slower, you should be able to probably take that exit. If you're carrying a bit more speed, you need more time to slow down, you can take exit number two, which is right there. Finally, if you have a really fast car and you need a lot of time to break, you can take exit number three, which is the very, very end of the track. Lots of room to slow down, turn around, and take the return road back to the pits. Once you've made your way back to the pits, it's time to see how you did. Before coming to the drag strip, make sure you download the Mission Raceway app. Once you've opened the app, you'll not only be able to see your time slip, you'll also be able to see the ambient conditions that you are racing in. To see those, swipe to the right. You will be able to see the temperature, the humidity, the barometric pressure, the dew point, as well as the density altitude. By swiping to the left, you'll be able to punch in your car number. Once you've entered your car number, your time slip will appear and you'll be able to see just how well or how poorly you may have done. This digital time slip contains all of the same information you would normally find on a traditional paper printed time slip. 
Thank you everyone for watching this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to drag race here at the Titanium Strip Mission Raceway Park. If you need to know any of the rules or regulations or the upcoming events, check out missionraceway.com. We can't wait to see you guys all at the next Friday Night Street Legals. Let's keep the racing off the streets and on the drag strip.